What's up guys, we're going to talk about the ADS-10 kit. It's been on the market for five months now. It's going pretty good. Been busy with it a lot. So basically I'm just going to do a quick video explaining the full kit. Front bumper, rear bumper, transmission cross member, motor mounts, you know, the whole uh, body mounts and all the hardware that will come with it, the bushings. Uh, the shipping arrangement, kind of how to assemble it, and in another video I'll talk about more installation, showing it on the truck, and everything like that. So uh, right now I'm going to try to go in order best I can, cab mounts and so forth, and everything here you see is USA metal and cut all in-house by myself, welded by myself, designed by myself, and um yeah, so I'm gonna I'm gonna show you right now. All right, all right. Here we're looking at four cab mounts. Okay, the the front they're side specific. They actually had the um, running board arms attached. I'll show you the running boards later, and then the rear. And these are the bushings. So this is adjustable two to six inches off frame. Four inches is the um, recommended height that I suggest, but um, you know, just gives you a lot of options. So that's the one nice thing that I really try to incorporate with this kit is the adjustability uh, really comes into play when you're trying to do air ride, um, tire changes, sizes, all that stuff come into account. So if you're unsure on your off frame height, just contact me, I'll, I'll help you out. But four inches is how they will ship. And so you have this, what's, um, and I have directions on everything too, but this just kind of helps you go over some of the little things that it's hard to explain in directions. These are your landing brackets. Uh, these actually bolt to the top of the frame. So basically when you set it like that, that, that already just set, set you right there at four inches off frame and um, the fronts come disassembled but they'll come in a bag right here uh, if you order the full kit you'll get um, the hardware to mount, mount the anchors everything's grade 8 hardware um, the fronts uh, I suggest drill and tap into the frame the rear you can have access to these um, for nut and bolt and there's plenty of options here for if, if you needed to raise the anchor or lower the anchor for when you do two and six inch, which are kind of extreme settings. But if you just mounted these at four inches right there without touching the anchor there, you could actually unbolt this tower and move it up or down one inch. So that really does come into play um, when you're trying to fine tune things. The front, uh, I use half inch hardware. The front takes one bushing and the rear take two bushings. So I'm not gonna get into all that, but that's uh, just kind of how I designed it. So you set the front and the rears at the same height and then side specific, you know, front and back bushings. So that pretty much sums up the cab mounts and now I'm going to move on to running boards and explain these. All right, here you're looking at the running board brackets, uh, three per side. The rear, they're going to come shipped like this. They have a spacer right here. It's in the directions. The spacer goes in between the frame and the back of this mount to kind of push this out so you have um, clearance for the you know stock e-brake cable in the S10 frame. So that's how these come. And then you'll have these top plates that are side specific. And I label them what way the frame goes and so forth. So, um, you know, your passenger go right like this. And then you could actually move forward and back a little bit. And, you know, there's adjustability this way too. Uh, so the, this whole entire kit is everything's adjustable two to six inch and then um, you could go forward and back half inch 
for just again more fine tuning. Uh, the rear plate, um, driver's side, passenger side. So those go with the rear, everything's labeled there. The middle, um, I suggest you just install these last once you get um, the order that I like to do is mount your cab, mount your bed and then mount your running boards. So once you mount your cab, um, you know, you start with your front cab mount, that way your, your running board's pretty much already set and dictated, which is nice. And then the rears, um, back to these, these actually mount to factory holes in the frame. So those are kind of dictated. And then the middle um, are kind of just, um, you know, you do last wherever, wherever you end up with your front and your rear, you know, uh, your front. They'll be labeled driver's side front, and these will be labeled, and then frame, obviously, that way it goes towards the frame, so this is how the driver's side front will go, and then it could slide like so, and like so. Um, I like to kind of push the running boards in towards the frame a little bit, so this, this actually gives you ability to do that. Okay, almost forgot the hardware for the running boards. These are inch and a half, grade eight. The, the front, um, the driver's side. The front actually take two bolts, and then in the rear, uh, I just give you one. So you kind of just pick a hole there, and the, the reason for that. There's several reasons why I'm just doing one in the rear, but your rear running boards actually bolt to the rear fender, so there'll be plenty of support in the rear, but this is the hardware. It's called running board top plates, two for the front, one for the rear on each side. All right, up next are the bed mounts. Uh, there's a lot of ways to do the bed. My kit basically just gets your bed mounted. Uh, in the future, I'm going to offer some more um, instructions in different ways but like I said there's so many ways to do the bed uh, if you mount four inches off frame you only lose about two inch of uh, bed depth uh, even with air ride you, you could still have bed depth uh, I know that's an issue for a lot of people but it's just one of the sacrifices uh, you can't really notice too much uh, in my opinion when you do four inch off frame um, you know as far as losing bed uh, so basically you have front Two fronts and then this is what the rear setup looks like and I'm going to show you here in a second the the bumper brackets actually mount to this so um, what I like to do is, is in the instructions you'll mount your cab then once you do that you'll get the measurement on where to come back to mount your bed and these are actually slightly side specific as well uh, I have a marked driver's side bed so this actually has a slot in it because the frame starts to tip up just a little bit right there. So um, that's why these are kind of side specific. Um, just mainly these landings here. And again, just like the cab mounts, once you set this, these already are coming um, preset for when you do four inch off frame. And you know, if you wanted to move these up or down one inch because you know you wanted to move your whole body you could do that um, you know if you wanted to r raise the bed and give the back just a slight rake or something you know you could do that so these are these are adjustable too with these settings uh, these are kind of in the ballpark of where these are going to be um, this part here where the actual bed cross seal sits on um, this just sits up a tiny bit uh, past this mount here. So um, that's kind of more on the fly when you're, when you're setting your bed. And these two holes right here, these, these pieces here are side specific. This whole unit here I call rear bed, bra rear bed bracket, even though it's two pieces. This, this actually bolts to factory holes in the frame. And then you have movement forward and back because the whole system can move forward and back. This is the hardware for mounting your bed. It has long um, five inch bolt washers, all that for the rear cross sill and how that's designed. And then 
your front cross sill of the bed, there's a bolt in there for that. So, uh, not a lot of guys run the rear bumper, um, but if you do, uh, I got brackets here. It kind of gives you, there's pictures in the instructions, a little more custom look. It's a little more tucked and doesn't stick way out. So, how this is set up, it's in the instructions. You'll, you'll want to mount these two these two bolts here to kind of sandwich your bracket together and then there's two longer bolts that will come already assembled with this unit if you get the rear brackets so just take those off you want to sandwich these together and then just bolt it just like that so you're, you're, and in the instructions how I explain it these bolt to the outside of this bracket. So don't want to be on the inside. You'll be on the outside, just like that. And then there's actually, I call this the outside bracket, and then this is the inside. So this actually mounts on the furthest out, and then this, and then your bed bracket. So just like that, it's pretty, pretty simple. And then it could slide forward and back. And if you want to raise, bumper up you could actually jump up to this uh, portion here and just you know swap these out um, so there's some options that you could do with that but yeah it's pretty simple all right here you're looking at my uh, step back motor mounts and these what I like about this design is these actually raise your engine up so with the LS setup, you will be able to run the stock, you know, very common truck oil pan in the quote unquote LS engine, which is actually the LM7, blah, blah, blah. I'm not gonna get into all that, but uh, these are the LS versions. There's small block version. And the only difference is basically, um, you know, this base plate, or, you know, this bottom plate here. Uh, everything here, the, these actual, uh, I guess you'd call these the base plates. These are the same for both systems, and you know they use just this common rubber bushing uh, that comes with it. So everything you see here comes with the motor mount set. All right, here is the basic transmission cross member, and what I mean basic is the first. Um, option that I had was called the Dula for dual exhaust. I'll show you a little bit of that here at the end. And so right now, just just for the sake of being extremely busy and just trying to simplify things, this is kind of the easiest version that I created just for, um, like I said, the, the basic version. Um, but basically what, it, what is nice about this is it's adjustable, just like everything else in the kit. You have basically you know, these will mount to the frame and, you know, unfortunately it's best to do this with the cab off. Um, you know, I've yet to do the design where, you, you know, when you already have the cab on, you can mount the transmission, but we'll cross that road later. Uh, these, I, I write top on there just for a little logo there, but uh, they're really not, um, they're symmetrical. And they're, they're slotted here for, you know, full up and down adjustment. You get this hardware here. Uh, it comes with the lock washers will go on this side. So you run four parameter bolts. And then once you have your height set, um, I have a hole here and a hole in the bottom. One would probably suffice. So once you know exactly where your pinion angle is, where you want your transmission, everything, drill a hole, put a bolt in there. It just gives it that little extra security so these don't ever loosen up or slide down or anything like that. And, you know, you could, could do both holes if you want. And that's pretty much it. Um, nine times out of ten, you get the bushing. I usually ask if you have your transmission bushing because a lot of times, most all the times, the bushing's already on the transmission. So... Um, if you need that, let me know. Uh, I send that with the cross member if you need it, but if not, um, I don't send it. And that's pretty much it. That's the, the basic cross member. Um, 
All right, so there you go. This is pretty much what you're looking at with a full kit. Weighs, um, I think, 110 pounds or so, depending on how much hardware you get and all that. Um, most of the time anymore, I've been trying to send all the hardware, but um, you know, if you don't order the bumper to bumper kit, sometimes I'll, I'll let you know, hey, you know, you gotta just supply the, the 3 8 bolts. And it'll uh, come in two, if you order the full kit, it comes in two FedEx boxes and one post office box. All that is, um, you know, send you tracking and everything, and I let you know pretty much play by play where I'm at in the process of making your kit. Uh, some stuff I'm working on is a full rear link kit for the uh, S10 frame and then once I'm done with that I'm gonna move on to stock frame stuff but this is the prototype uh, notch so I'm gonna put them in uh, my truck here in the garage soon and then start working on the rest of that kit so hopefully get to that uh, by the fall or so um, just been super busy with kits and a million other things and so prototyping and doing all that you know it's right now kind of hard to find the time but I'm working on it um, this is some of you have seen the doula this is just part of the first one that I uh, was working on but I, I have another one that's pretty much um, somewhat final I got to send out to a guy so you know basically your exhaust will pass through and then it will have um, you know spacers in here so it'll come somewhat um, disassembled and then there'll be you know this this piece here is the same as the basic only it'll uh, bolt on instead of being welded on and then these side um, anchors are going to be the same for the doula and the basic and so yeah that's pretty much it I really appreciate everybody that has been supporting this and uh, you know I work five six days a week on this and like I said it's just uh, been on the market the first kit went out in January and just constantly busy with it and trying to help you know help help guys out my, my first build was on a s10 chassis and it's actually sitting right here um, redoing this whole truck so it's kind of my workbench um, putting the air ride on it and everything so this is the first truck I ever built it had the s10 chassis and you know, I'm a fan of both original and s10 so I kind of just been debating a long time on doing my version of uh, you know originally I wanted to write a book on how to do it and then uh, there's a lot a lot of scattered information out there so my directions they're I try to keep them very minimal on the pages so I am working on a video here after this that will be more of an install and things to look look um, out for just little subtle things um, rather than giving you 50 pages of instructions I think the videos will help that's why I wanted to make this video to kind of show you guys the, the hardware how it's labeled um, you know just the little uh, benefits of kind of how this this kit works like once it's on you can move it up and down an inch and then you know if you want to go further than that uh, you still have that adjustability but it's a very versatile kit you know with forward and back and um, you know you could actually um, use this with long bed trucks uh, I've had some guys doing that uh, panel trucks uh, you could pretty much use this kit um, there's just you know subtle differences so just just let me know um, you know what you have and this kit pretty much works with everything um, one last thing I forgot about the uh, extension plates that uh, I've been working on I sent one set out uh, I have another set that I, I'm gonna put on one of the frames I have laying around this is a three-part system it will come with this uh, heavy-duty plate right here and just by bolting this on you should be able to roll your chassis around and everything and these notches here are pretty much where your two halves of the frame will meet